Right now I'm going to do more or less what I did before. I'm going to use the the blue, light blue. It's more or less white, but there's definitely a shadowed blue colour in there. I'll just put a bit more in so you can see it. There. Now I don't want this too strong, so what I'll do, I only did that to show you. I'll put it over there, grab a bit of it, put some more white with it, and maybe a bit of the black just to dull it slightly. There, that's the sort of thing that you want. Nice. A nice shadow. Again, get the paper towel and just wipe the knife off. Always work with a clean knife when you're coming in. Now, I just want to use this little part of the knife first. And I'm just going to come up into these little areas up in here. I'm just going to pull a bit of that through. shadow of colour just in there. Nice one. Same up in here. Get this shadow colour. Don't lose that top edge though because that's your separator from this mountain to this one. Put a little bit of shadow in there. Cool. Right, and then I know that just on top of here there's going to be a shadow as well. Just to the left hand side. Remember the highlights are on the right, so the shadow is on the left. There. Now I'm just going to run down there slightly. Same with that. And then just pull. See how I'm just using the small edge there. Don't be ever scared of using the small edge of the knife. I know Bob Ross always uses the side, but anyone who's not used to it, this can sometimes be a lot easier. A much easier way of doing it. So if anyone's struggling with the mountains, that could help you. A few little shadows in just there. Leave the dark so I don't kill all the darks. I'm going to leave a lot of these darks in up here. Just put a bit on there. You notice I go quiet when I'm near edge. <laughs> That's because I'm like, don't ruin it, don't ruin it. beautiful place this is, Alaska. It's got to be one of the most amazing places for mountains, definitely. Also it's got lots and lots of tectonic activity and stuff there, you know? Oh, the geezers, stuff like Old Faithful and stuff like that. I love to go visiting do the tourist thing, but I'd much rather do what that guy did with Log Cabin and live out there. That'd be amazing. Living with what wildlife and being able to build and just enjoy nature for what it is. Live life the way life should be lived. I'd so much love to be able to do that. I know times have changed and it's just a dream of mine, just like it was a dream of that guy's. I always love going camping and that's probably the closest thing that we're going to ever get to actually living truly in the wild. But this is as good as damn it. Right. So now I've got them shadowed areas in. I'm just going to come through, get some white, straight through that white, put a tiny bit of crimson again. And just put a little bit of crimson through it. See that? Just a tiny bit. You overdo this and it'll set your world on fire. 
a good load, a good roll of paint on the knife, and then again holding it so very, very gentle. Just want you to touch this corner, and then as you touch it, you go from there right down the actual mountain, all the way. Oh, yeah. Leave those little holes in between. Don't kill all that. It's pretty important. So. Just want it to go right on the edge there. Bring it predominantly through to that there. there. See what I mean about these boards, though? They really do leave some beautiful gaps in between in between your snow and it gives it some lovely depth. Again a little bit up in there. And then try and do it fast. The faster you do that, the better it actually breaks. Don't rush it. No need to rush. Take your time. See that? Oh yeah. Gets to feeling good, does this? Very good. It's a lot of fun to paint mountains. Who give you this much power in the world, eh? Who could give you this much power to create mountains? This is your world out here, you know? Although I'm doing this of a real place, from my imagination, but it's of a real place, uh, even then, it's still your world. You want to change something? You want to put a tree somewhere? You do it. It's what painting's all about. It's about being creative. Don't be scared to explore things. Don't be scared to create new techniques new ways of doing things because trust me the way i'm showing you is not the only way you can do it there's plenty of different ways you'll learn your best way for you